so today marks the last day of my challenge don't worry god will provide so i've been going through this challenge for five days uh of of not worrying god will provide and today god spoke to me and i'm here to also share this message with you and probably this is going to be an, an encouragement for you and today i read from second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 and this is what the bible says for the spirit god gave us does not make us timid but gives us power love and self-discipline i am gonna read also verse 8 because i feel like verse 8 of this chapter explains us uh, verse 7 and this is what the bible says in verse 8 so do not be ashamed of the testimony about our lord or of me his prisoner he, the, the prisoner here is paul so actually paul wrote this to encourage timothy and the reason why paul is encouraging timothy is because there was a lot of persecution that was happening during this time christians were being persecuted killed and even some of them were jailed like paul here and there is a possibility that timothy could have been feeling afraid because of what is happening to his fellow christians he was seeing them being persecuted being killed being jailed so paul is actually writing this uh, message to encourage him that he should not feel ashamed of him uh, being a prisoner he should not feel ashamed of his testimony and that's why he's encouraging him like um brother you don't need to 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 look what is happening around you should continue to share your faith you should continue to be bold enough to share your faith in jesus christ so uh we might not be uh facing the same persecution as they did before but you know the world that we are living in right now there are so many things that are happening that goes against uh our our faith we are facing uh laws that uh, that opposes uh, our faith in God, our Christianity. So now, actually, this one, we can relate to it. The Bible is telling us that we should not be afraid about sharing the power of our testimony, of our faith, and our trust in God. We should continue uh, uh, sharing regardless of our circumstances regardless of the opposition that is happening in the world against our faith and actually the power that is being talked about here is not something like having a dynamic personality you know your own power no actually this is the power that comes from the boldness to share the gospel the boldness to share your testimony of your faith that is the power that the bible is talking about here and now the love of god that uh, uh, Paul is talking about here is uh, the love of God that is unconditional so out of the overflow of the love of God in our lives in our hearts we extend the same love towards other people by sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ and remember without love the essence of Christianity will not mean anything right so Christianity is best the foundation of Christianity is love and that's why the Bible says John 3 16 that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son he loved the world and he gave so Christianity will be meaningless without love so love is the basis of everything so what should we do we should be able to extend the same love towards other people right who are who feel rejected people who feel like they're not lovable people who are who are struggling and going through uh difficult times we shouldn't be people who uh we call ourselves christians and then our actions speak something else so we should open a door for such people and make them love so can you imagine telling people that god loves you 
God that you cannot see. And then you yourself that they see, they can't see that love. So we should be able to, uh, to, to reflect that love towards other people. And that's what the Bible is telling us right now. And then self-discipline. We should have the power of self-discipline in us in terms of relating with other people the way we speak to uh with other people and also the way we handle our things and then and then also self-discipline in uh in terms of of dealing with our flesh desires and sometimes we as human beings we can be faced with uh, the desires in our flesh that um that is not pleasing uh, before God that is sinful. So we should have that self-discipline because the word of God is lives in us and Jesus Christ lives in us. And of course, when we have self-discipline, it means we have that, that seed of the fruit the fruit of the gift of the Holy Spirit because Holy Spirit lives in us and when he lives in us it means we have that self-control in us so my dear friend don't be afraid to share your testimony your faith regardless of the circumstance of whatever that is happening even the opposition people can change the world can change um uh, their laws to not uh, uh, their laws not to favor Christians. The world can oppose uh, the word of God, but they cannot succeed. Even before then, they never succeeded. Even before then, we can see they never, they never like uh, succeeded in uh, opposing the the word of God. That's why we still have it today. That's why we still have people, uh, people like Paul ministering to us. So, so don't be afraid continue serving God and sharing your testimony and having that boldness that the Bible is telling us today he has not given you the spirit of fear remember who is in you the power of the Holy Spirit who is living in us may God bless you so much